future entrepreneurs. I'm Jill Horner. This is Comcast Newsmakers. With me is Carlos Medina. He is chairman of the statewide Hispanic Chamber of Commerce of New Jersey. Thanks for being with us. Good to see Thanks you. Thanks for having me. Uh, you have a variety of opportunities for those who are looking to start businesses and for those who already have businesses. I want to ask you, though, about your Hispanic Entrepreneurship Training Program. This is free for your membership. Yes, we get a grant from the state of New Jersey and some of our sponsors also give us money to uh, be able to implement the program. And talk to us a little bit about how this program works. Sure, it's a 12-week training program where we bring in subject matter experts that are bilingual. So we'll have an attorney that could speak to them about starting a business, the legal pitfalls, the legal entities. We'll have CPAs, we'll have social media experts, really 12 important topics to make sure they really want to start a business because some of them might change their mind after going through the class. But if they are really interested, this will really give them kind of a game plan. They'll walk out with a handbook ready to, to start their business. And if someone is interested in this program or participating in it, can they just reach out for more information? Yeah, they could go on our website and there's an application on our website. In addition uh, to that, you are really talking about the growth in Hispanic businesses. Uh, this is a program designed to grow even more, uh, but there are some new numbers when it comes to Hispanic-owned business in New Jersey. Talk to us about the growth. Yeah, Geoscape did a study for the United States Hispanic Chamber of Commerce, and they determined that in New Jersey, the number's up to 116,000 Hispanic-owned businesses currently in the state of New Jersey. We were guesstimating about 80, so it's quite a, uh, an increase in numbers. And with that, uh, we're talking about a variety of different industries, types of businesses, and sizes of businesses. Yeah, from hospitality to law firms to accounting to financial services, it's really a wide, uh, a wide range of types of businesses that are starting. You have some upcoming events as well. You're asking people to save the date for your October Expo. You'll have the details available on your website. Yes. Yeah, we ha we'll have an expo, probably about 80 vendors with a lot of information. We'll have food, we'll have samples, uh, a lot of information and workshops. And best of all, it's free of charge. So we anticipate about 800 people attend that expo. And uh, the details will be on your uh, website. In addition to that, your annual fiesta happens during the New Jersey League of Municipalities conference happening in Atlantic City on November 14th. Yes, and we're working on having eight uh, tequila distributors come in and give samples of their products. They're looking to form relationships with distributors in New Jersey to, to bring their products stateside. And we'll have some celebrity chefs coming in. And it's just a good networking event. Elected officials come down there. And it's really good to, to grow your Rolodex of relationships and, and meet other, other business people. Thanks so much for being with us. Thank you. We've been talking with Carlos Medina. He's chairman of the statewide Hispanic Chamber of Commerce of New Jersey. I'm Jill Horner.